Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. We've taken a couple of weeks off. I was busy, I don't know, sleeping on the couch. I'm not sure what I was busy doing. Um, but I'm going to make a few of them today and that'll last while I'm in Tulsa. Karen and I are going to Tulsa Wednesday through Sunday uh, for a poker tournament. So we'll still have some five minutes with Ben to watch, even if there's no streams. Now, this game was played today, which for some of you will probably be yesterday. I think this is going to come out tomorrow, but you know what do I know? Anyway, today's Tuesday, March 12th. So whenever this comes out, this game was played Tuesday, March 12th. Ended about an hour ago, and it's from the America's Cup. Uh, the American Cup has two sections, men and women. The men's games, eh, but the women's games, that's where the games are. And this game was where white was Toker Genova and black was Jennifer Yu. They're both top eight in the U.S. and I would say top five for women. And this position, which has even material, uh, white played perfectly every move until black resigned. So, man, the truth hurts. Um, okay, so it's equal material. And the obvious advantage that white has is the black king is on e8. Uh, and black has the two bishops. Black's position looks fine. Okay, so you'll notice this knight is attacked twice and it's protected twice. So Toker Genova played a5, attacking the queen. That's the best move. And then black doesn't want to lose her queen, doesn't want to lose her knight. So she played queen b5. That's the best move. And white only has one way to win, but Toker Genova played perfectly every move, so she won. And she traded knights on c5 and then played the move knight d4. And this has the same intention as a5. We're attacking the queen and the queen's defending the bishop. And if you play queen a5, then knight b3 is a winning fork. Okay, so black's hand is forced. She has to take the knight. Queen takes. Now her bishop's attacked and her pawn is attacked. So Jennifer played bishop d3. And some moves give white close to a winning position. But here, Toker Genova played the best move, giving the most winning. And that's bishop takes b4, stopping black from castling. Okay, the problem is if white gets to play queen g7, this rook can't move anywhere because the bishop is here. So queen takes g7 is a pretty big threat. Okay, black played rook d8, and so white played queen, queen takes g7, queen takes b4, queen takes h8 check, king to d7, and once again, Toker Genova played the best move, queen f6. So white's up the exchange and two pawns, which is too much material, and black's king is on d7. So Jennifer, you won some material back and played bishop takes f1. Always play bishop f1. And once again, Toker Genova played the best move. There's a lot of moves that look good. Queen f7, rook f1, rook d1. But she played the one the engine prefers, queen f7. And now the game ended immediately because black actually played the best move, but it's the easiest one to beat. If black plays the best move, the engine actually announces mate. So I'm going to show you the mate. If black plays king d6, which he did not play, queen c7, only legal move is king d5, rook d1, and then if king e4, this is mate. So bishop d3, rook takes d3, king e4. White can't play rook takes rook or queen takes rook because black plays queen e1 mate. So queen h7 check defends the rook. Pretty cool. Queen here check. Queen check. h4 check. This is leading to a forced mate. Um, now if we play king takes, we can take the rook. And this check, I have king h2, and white's going to mate in a couple of moves, and white's up a rook. So queen takes h4, 
lasts the longest. Rook takes d8, and black doesn't have a back rank check anymore, and white's going to give checkmate. Okay, so she didn't do that. She didn't play the move king d6, which would have led to that position. Also, after king d6, if white doesn't want to checkmate black and give all these series of checks, white, white could just play rook takes f1, and black can resign. Black's down some pawns, and the king's on d6. Ridiculous. Okay, so she played queen e7, and again, more than one move wins, but Toker Genova played the engine move again, rook c7 check, and black loses all of her pieces, so she resigned. If she doesn't resign, it could go king takes, check. Then I guess the funniest way to win is to take the rook, but you could just play queen c5 and then take the bishop. But if you want to test your king and pawn endgame prowess, you could sacrifice your queen for no reason and win the king and pawn ending up three pawns. Okay, so after rook at c7 check, Jennifer, you resigned. And this game just ended about an hour ago for me. So very exciting game. Go Toker Genova. But Jennifer, you will come back in the tournament. She's a great player. All the women are great players in this event. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.